Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Jeremy Wall. The Vernon County Sheriff's Office is continuing to investigate after suspicious activity was reported outside of Aroqua School. According to a release, officers received a report of suspicious activity in front of Cornerstone Christian Academy on Friday. Around 1230 during a school recess period, students saw a vehicle driving on US Highway 14. The vehicle stopped in the vicinity of the school. It was reported a man dressed in all black colors, including gloves and a ski mask, exited the car and started monitoring or motioning in the direction of a five year old student. The student started walking toward the vehicle until they were, quote, intercepted and returned safely to the school. As the school's principal approached the car, it left on Highway 14. These are stock photos of what the car might have looked like based on witness accounts. The vehicle was described as dark blue Chevy Equinox, possibly a 2019 to 2022 model with chrome star shaped wheels. The car may have had dealer license plates or license plates from another state. A car extremely similar to the suspect vehicle was just ruled out by the Vernon County Sheriff's Office. Officers are asking folks in the Viroqua and Westby areas to check their cameras between noon and 1 p.m. on Friday to see if they have any footage that might be the car. Please call the Vernon County Sheriff's Office if you have any information. Since negotiations over the release of hostages have stopped, Israel's military operation has resumed. The international community is urging Israel to minimize civilian casualties as the death toll inside of Gaza mounts. CBS's Kristen Benavides reports. Scenes like this are playing out throughout Gaza. A group of children searching for their father, believed to be buried under rubble following an Israeli airstrike. The Hamas-run Ministry of Health says the death toll inside Gaza now surpasses 15,000 Palestinians. The Israeli army says it has renewed its assault after negotiations for the release of more hostages held by Hamas stalled. Following Hamas's regrettable decision to terminate the hostage release pause and resume hostilities, the IDF has resumed targeting Hamas terror targets, striking more than 400 over the weekend. This video shows what IDF soldiers say is one of over 800 tunnel shafts belonging to Hamas. Many hidden, they say, near civilian infrastructure such as schools. Israeli soldiers say they've destroyed about 500 of them. It's also important for people to remember what they're up against here. Uh, Hamas deliberately shelters themselves inside yes. residential buildings, hospitals and schools, yes. basically on purpose, putting civilians in the line of fire. Bodies are piling up outside the few remaining hospitals still running. A majority of people are crowded in southern Gaza after Israel told them to evacuate the north. As Israel now begins its operations in the south, Palestinians are running out of places to go. Meantime, there is ongoing pressure for a ceasefire, while in Tel Aviv, an Israeli hostage who was released appeared on stage at a rally calling for more hostages to be freed. Christian Benavides, CBS News. The UN says about 75% of Palestinians are currently displaced. Israel has published a map with evacuation zones for civilians. They've also dropped leaflets in some areas because service in much of Gaza is unreliable. All right, let's get a check of the weather now from Bill. Well, as advertised, we had some light snow showers last night and into this morning. Here's what it looked like on our City Cam 8 time lapse just after midnight. Streets were mainly wet, but uh, during the overnight hours, we had some steadier snow showers roll through. And you can see at 6 o'clock this morning, most of the roads and parking lots and sidewalks were wet to uh, snow covered. So that did make for some slick travel earlier today. But by lunchtime, those snow showers had tapered and most of that snow had uh, melted off with just wet streets and parking lots and sidewalks this afternoon. Chris temperatures, uh, or I should say highs today were chilly, generally between about uh, oh, 34 and 37 degrees, right at 36 in La Crosse, Winona and Eau Claire. Uh, darkness is upon us now and uh, clouds remain as that snow shower activity has shifted into far eastern Wisconsin up towards uh, Green Bay Lambeau Field, still seeing some snow showers uh, before the Packers kick off shortly up there. 
and uh, snow showers into the central Great Lakes as well. Current temperatures in the lower to middle 30s, and we will see seasonably chilly conditions overnight with light winds. Lows in the 20s for most, including 27 in the cross. Another chance for some light snow tomorrow night. I'll have the details coming up. All right, thanks, Bill. The Vernon County Historical Society was in the holiday spirit today. The group hosted the first holiday history tour this afternoon. Attendees could visit five historic sites around Viroqua, all of which were decorated for the holidays. That includes the old St. Mary's Catholic Church and the historic Sherry Butt House. The sites featured fun festive activities like holiday music, a hot chocolate bar, and even Santa. For one of the event's organizers, history and the holidays go hand in hand. I think it just sparks memories for people and um, there's a lot of traditions that come along with it and um, it's just something that people get excited about. Today was the only scheduled day for the holiday history tour, but you can still visit the Vernon County Museum and History Center to learn more about the history of the holidays in Viroqua. Children on French Island are receiving a little head start to Christmas. Looks like Santa Claus has had a busy day in the Cooley region. He also stopped by the town of Campbell today. The town of Campbell Fire Department took him around the community for St. Nicholas Day, which commences Christmas celebrations. Santa stopped by homes, giving kids small gifts filled with some goodies. He says what his favorite part of the holiday is. It's just fun. Fresh air. Kids are excited. You know, it's making sure they're being good. You know, it's, it's what I do. Santa wasn't just handing out bags of goodies. He also shared some important fire safety information with the boys and girls he met today. But hopefully none of them have to deal with any coal in their stockings this Christmas. Coming up on News 8, multiple oil and gas companies have pledged to dramatically cut their methane emissions by the end of the decade. Help make a difference to children and families this holiday season. Donate $15 or a new unwrapped toy to any home furniture showroom and we'll give you 7% tax relief savings when you spend $4.99 or more. Share the joy during Toys for Tax, only at Home Furniture. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability, convenience, and technology to help bring us together. Discover how Ford F-150 can make the holidays bright. Now get a 2023 Ford F-150 XLT with 3.9% financing for 60 months, plus up to $3,500 in total savings, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. We all know how weather goes around here. So why not take the first warn team with you? Stay weather aware with hourly temps and conditions, video forecasts, and interactive radar. And the best part? It's easy to use. Here, try it. When you feel that chill in the air, make sure your furnace will keep you comfortable. Call GNT Heating and Air Conditioning. Quality you can count on, experience you can trust. With over 50 years of combined experience, GT services residential and commercial within 50 miles of West Salem. Right now at Homeworld Rugs, when you donate $15 or a new unwrapped toy, we will give you 7% tax relief savings on a huge selection of area rugs. Plus, get no interest financing during Toys for Tax at Homeworld Rugs. Fifty major oil and gas companies have pledged to dramatically cut their methane emissions by the end of the decade. The announcement was made yesterday at the COP28 climate change conference in Dubai. Among the companies announcing they will reduce their methane emissions by around 80 to 90 percent include ExxonMobil. This comes as the Biden administration also announced that it has finalized a rule to slash methane emissions by nearly 80 percent through 2038. The rule will be implemented by the Environmental Protection Agency and will crack down on methane leaks. 
The EPA estimates the new policies will stop about 58 million tons of methane, methane from escaping into the atmosphere during that period. That is the equivalent of taking more than 300 million gas-powered cars off the road for a year. A New York Times investigation shows air traffic controllers are overworked and at greater risk of making mistakes. The Times interviewed more than 70 current and former air traffic controllers, pilots and federal officials. And reporters reviewed thousands of pages of federal safety reports and internal Federal Aviation Administration records. The paper says air traffic controllers and others submitted hundreds of complaints over the past two years to an FAA hotline. The complaints described issues including staffing shortages, mental health problems, and unpleasant working conditions. The Times uncovered at least seven reports of controllers sleeping when they were on duty. A spokesperson for the FAA says the story does not reflect the high level of safety of the country's airspace. Quote, flying has never been safer due in large part to our air traffic controllers. The agency says it encourages air traffic controllers to report safety concerns and incidents without fear of retaliation. Hollywood has hit a rough patch. Industry analysts say sales slowed in November. Movie theaters grossed about $553 million during the month. That's a 12% drop from a year ago. And more than $400 million less compared with pre-pandemic levels. The long Thanksgiving weekend used to attract big crowds to the movies. But this year, the research group Comscore says theaters only grossed $173 million. That is $50 million more than last year. It's still short of pre-pandemic figures that averaged around $270 million. With the holidays coming up, savvy shoppers are turning something old into something new. And it's big business. Used clothing sales are expected to exceed $77 billion by 2025, more than double the amount from four years ago. Stores credit thrifty Gen Z buyers, the environment, and TikTok, thrifting TikTok, or Thrift Talk boasts billions of views and counting with high discounts attitudes or attitudes about thrifting have changed. Secondhand goods are now seen as better for your budget and the environment. Yeah, I mean, it's really a generational shift in consumption. You know, when you look at the young, they care about the planet. They care about sustainability. They care about making good choices for their futures. Top fashion designers are also taking note of the trend. More than 120 retailers now resell their clothes. Yeah. Still ahead on News 8, the CDC is warning consumers not to eat pre-cut cantaloupe if you don't know the source. And I'm meteorologist Bill Grawl. The snow has moved out of our area, but what does the upcoming work week have in store? I'll have the answer with my eight-day forecast after the break. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! Hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Get great gifts this holiday season at Menards. Store your tools and organize your garage with the Masterforce 19 drawer tool chest. Easily access your tools with a patented raise and release system. The Masterforce tool chest is $10.99.98. Tackle the toughest jobs with Metabo Power Tools. The 18 volt brushless cordless brad nailer provides innovative solutions, keeping your job site more productive than ever. This Metabo cordless brad nailer is just $199.99. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food meets great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking the gang to the slopes in an available all-wheel drive pilot, delivering presents in a rugged passport, 
or all in a few toys for yourself in a powerful Ridgeline. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. If you've been hurt in an accident, you need the experienced attorneys of Schwabel, Getz, and Sieben. After my accident, I was going through surgeries about every three to six months, and John Getz was great at knowing what I wanted as an outcome. John made sure that not only were my current medical bills taken care of, he also was making sure that I knew that anything in the future would also be taken care of. Call Schwabel, Getz, and Sieben, or visit us at schwabel.com for a free consultation. There's never a fee charged unless we win the settlement. The CDC is warning consumers not to eat pre-cut cantaloupe. If you don't know the source, a salmonella outbreak has sickened at least 117 people in 34 states. This includes 10 people in Wisconsin and 14 in Minnesota. Officials say the recall covers pre-cut cantaloupe sold at major grocery stores, including Kroger, Trader Joe's, and some convenience stores like Quick Trip. Scientists at Tulane University say they have found a way to stop a protein that spreads lung cancer. The study is the first to show that three proteins in the body cells can work together to impede a fourth protein, the one that helps cancer cells grow. They hope the findings lead to a new anti-cancer drug and more personalized treatment. And a 20-year study in Australia finds no evidence that cannabis use reduces long-term opioid dependence. Doctors say opioid use disorders are complex and are unlikely to be resolved by a single treatment. All right, let's send it over to Bill, to Bill for a check of the forecast. Bill, how about it? Yeah, a little taste of winter over the past 24 hours and uh, looking outside through city cam right now, uh, fairly decent travel conditions, but watch for some isolated slick spots, some leftover slick spots, especially those secondary roads and the rural roads and especially south and east of La Crosse where you saw a little bit more snow uh, than the rest of us. In fact, speaking of uh, what you need to know, we had anywhere from a trace to uh, about two a couple of isolated three inch totals in Vernon County of uh, snow over the last 24 hours. Another system will bring a chance of light snow showers tomorrow night, looking at minimal, if any, accumulations with that, generally less than a half an inch, and then milder, uh, but also breezy later in the upcoming work week, especially by Thursday and Friday. 36 was the high today, 33 the low. Averages are 37 and 22, 64 and 19 below the records for today. That's 64 during that very mild stretch in December of 2012. Here's the liquid breakdown, just under two tenths of an inch of liquid from this latest system and an inch of snow officially out at the La Crosse Airport. And for the uh, snow season, 3.9 inches, which is uh, not too far off from where we should be up to this point. Uh, 35 degrees at the airport and downtown with cloudy skies. Winds are light, so no wind chill to speak of. The Mississippi up a bit, 4.69. 35 also in Eau Claire with a cloudy sky and the Chippewa River holding steady. So current temperatures uh, fairly uniform in the lower to middle 30s across the region. 33 in Black River Falls, Sparta, uh, 32 in Viroqua, and 34 in Prairie du Chien. Winds are light or calm, and that will be the trend overnight, so wind chill is not a concern. Uh, leftover clouds, but that disturbance is now to our east. Still some light snow showers around Green Bay, maybe some light snow showers or flurries at the start of the Packers Chiefs game, but uh, overall uh, playing conditions really should not be impacted there. Otherwise, our next disturbance is up uh, north of Montana. That will zip through tomorrow night, bringing a chance for some light snow showers. So for tonight, just some cloudy conditions and tomorrow mainly cloudy as well, but dry. Watch as we head into tomorrow night, uh, that chance for some snow showers, maybe some sprinkles mixed in as well. And that uh, kind of moves through in hit and miss fashion. Maybe some flurries left over Tuesday morning, but the uh, bulk of Tuesday will be dry. Uh, still mostly cloudy though. Temperatures tomorrow. Uh, upper 30s might flirt with 40 degrees in a few spots, but most spots will see highs between about, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, 36 and 40 degrees, including 39 in La Crosse, Arcadia, and Whitehall, right around 38 in Chippewa Falls, 39 in Eau Claire. So for tonight, mainly cloudy, seasonably chilly with light winds, 27 for the low in La Crosse, 39 tomorrow, uh, dry during the day, that chance of snow showers tomorrow night, and then flurries early Tuesday, but most of the day dry. 
And then it turns breezy Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 40 on Wednesday, but close to 50 on Thursday. Still pretty mild on Friday. And then cooler next weekend. And no major storm system. Uh, that chance for some snow showers that I had in last night for Sunday. Right now, it looks like that storm will stay just to our south and east. But, of course, we'll keep a close eye on it for you as the week progresses. Jeremy, back to you. All right, Bill, looking forward to those mild temps. Thanks. Coming up in sports, the Badgers are going bowling. The college football bowl games have been announced, and the Badgers are heading south. Kate has the details right after the break. Attention seniors, be safe with your affordable tub to shower conversion or enjoy an all new bathroom. Contact the Board Store Home Improvements today for a prompt free estimate. High quality at lower prices. This year, let Ford make the holidays bright. Mm -hmm. Go over any type of terrain with Ford Bronco Sport. Hey, Dad. How's the weather? All good. And the Ford Explorer with available seating for seven. Hey, and with power on demand in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, well, that's how Ford is making the holidays bright. Now, get 2.9% financing for 66 months, plus $17.50 flex buy cash on select Ford SUVs, only at your local Northland Ford dealers. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid, not because of the drill, but because of the bill, a big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you, thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Wow, forest berry fudge is amazing. Mmm, this is melting in my mouth. Dill pickle? Whoa. That's actually good! Mmm, holy fudge. This is the best thing ever. Expressions, brought to you by Valley Fudge and Candy. Find us in Coon Valley, Wisconsin, or order online today. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. Welcome to News 8 Sports, I'm Kate Overton, and I'm sure a lot of you are getting ready for this big Sunday night football game coming up at 7 o'clock. The Green Bay Packers hosting the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, a primetime game in Lambeau against an opponent as great as Kansas City. These are the games that really tell you what your team is about. I've said it all week, it's not a must win game, but if the Packers really do want to make a playoff push, a win tonight would really go a long ways. And if they don't, if they want to get it done, it's going to start with the man behind center, Jordan Love. His stock has been rising all season long, but now he's going to have to do it against one of the best defenses in the NFL. Kickoff for this one set for 720 tonight on NBC. All right, bull season is officially here, and the Wisconsin Badgers have a tough task as they're going to be up against the LSU Tigers and the Relia Quest Bowl at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, formerly known as the Outback Bowl, but there's a new name change starting this year for the first time. Last time the Badgers played in this bowl, was in 2015. This is exciting news as this means Wisconsin will be playing on New Year's Day against one of the best offenses in the entire country. The LSU Tigers are no joke. They'll be coming into the game with a 9-3 record and they have maybe the most electric player in college football in Jaden Daniels. Daniels is currently the Heisman favorite as he sits with just under 5,000 total yards, 50 total touchdowns, and just four interceptions on the year. So the Badgers better be careful. And bowl season doesn't come without a little drama. This is the last year of the four-team college football playoff, and this is the first time that an undefeated Power 5 team is being left out. Florida State finished the year without a loss, won the ACC championship, and even beat two SEC teams. But because their quarterback got injured, the playoff committee is using that as an excuse to put the SEC champions and one loss, Alabama, into the playoffs. So Alabama got the number four seed. They'll be taking on 
Michigan in Pasadena for the Rose Bowl, and Texas and Washington will be facing off in the All-State Sugar Bowl. And even with the playoff being expanded to 12 teams next year, this will always be a problem. There will always be a team that gets left out. That's just how it goes. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. Help make a difference to children and families this holiday season. Donate $15 or a new unwrapped toy to any home furniture showroom, and we'll give you 7% tax relief savings when you spend $4.99 or more. Share the joy during Toys for Tax, only at Home Furniture. You're young, but your bathroom is old. I get it. I visit my kids, grandkids, my precious great-grandkids. Doesn't fit their lifestyle. Not safe. Old and ugly. You will be amazed at the transformation you can make in just a few days. New tub and shower with all new fixtures. New toilet. New sink and vanity. New flooring. At an investment much less than you might think. Call the Board Store Home Improvements today for a prompt free estimate on your new bathroom. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburger's cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Here we go. I knew I could do it. I just had to take the first step. Hey, how's it going? Marcus, my boy. Welcome to my humble abode. Nice to meet you. When Marcus came to my door, it was my chance to give someone a safe place to stay for a little while. When you open your heart and home through foster parenting, you're helping the teen write new chapters, which can positively impact the teen for the rest of their life. Be part of the story. For more information about becoming a foster parent, contact Children's Wisconsin. Now at Home Sleep Express, when you spend $4.99 and donate $15 or a new unwrapped toy, we will give you 7% tax relief savings on quality mattress brands like Luxuria and Thomas Cole Sleep. Plus, get free shipping during Toys for Tax at Home Sleep Express. Very few people know that there are lyrics to entertainment tonight. Hey, here we go. So you've had a very bad day. There's entertainment tonight. Oh, yes. All right. Weeknights at 630. Current temperatures in the lower to middle 30s. Most of us will see overnight lows in the 20s, including uh, 27 in La Crosse with light winds. Tomorrow, dry during the day, 39, but another chance for some snow showers tomorrow night. Flurries early Tuesday and then breezy and turning milder by the end of the week. We could be flirting with 50 by Thursday. All right, thanks, Bill, and thank you for tuning in to this edition of News 8 Now at 530. We'll see you again at 10.